Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcraft, and today I'm gonna to go through and show you how I prepare larger orders, the initial setup, and basically the entire process of how I go through and make those large batches. And the reason I'm doing this video today is because I've let my website go to absolutely zero. I have no stock on there, so it ran out this week. So I've gotta hurry up and make a bunch, get them back on there. So I've probably got about three different styles to go through. I do have some of the more kind of upper end or luxury line, the uh, the monochromatic series. And then of course the black and white aura jars I do have on there, but it's the nine ounce straight jars and the eight ounce jelly jars that I'm completely out of. So uh, I've had a lot of people ask, what do I do when I go through and set up when I'm pouring? 30, 40, 50 candles at a time. So I figured I would go through and just kind of document and show what I do to go through that process. And as you can see, the studio is not completely set up yet. Uh, I have been dying to go out and get the wood to finish this wall, but as anybody knows, if you've gone out looking at wood, it is insanely expensive right now. So I'm at a crossroads where I know I need the wall, but at the same time, I really don't want to spend double and triple prices for wood products right now. But I think I'm gonna to have to go get it anyways because I've resorted to my farmer's market banner, which is decent, but it's not the background that I want for the videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the camera. I'm gonna show you what I'm working with, what we're gonna be setting up, and uh, we'll just kind of flip the camera around and we'll go from there. But before we get to all of that, I just wanted to announce that the next series of candle making classes that are online are already listed on my website. And the first one is gonna be next Saturday, May 8th at nine in the morning Pacific time, and that's gonna be 12 o'clock Eastern time. It's a four hour Zoom conference where we're gonna be discussing everything from the basics of candle making, from wax to wicks to calculating your costs, all the way up into launching your website promoting on social media and getting into stores. So if that's something that you want to be a part of, definitely get to my website, stanleyhandcrafted.com. It's on the event section and definitely pick a date. Not only do we have next Saturday, May 6th, but I also have a midweek one, May 26th, for the people who work on the weekends that just can't make a weekend conference. And then the one after that is gonna be Saturday, June 5th. There are only 25 seats available for each of those classes. So definitely jump in there quick before they're sold out. I know the next week one is already half gone. I think there's only 11 seats left for that one. So if you wanna get into the candle conference, definitely jump over there and sign up quick. And let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so I'm kind of doing this part after the fact, but here's all the oils that I went through. These are the ones that I need to stock up on. And then of course, just get your basic supplies. And then the first set of candles that I've poured. And then I usually try to go two Presto pots at a time. Uh, I'll have one melting while the other one is pouring, if electricity will provide for it. <laughs> And then of course the next set of jars that I'm gonna start setting up now that those straights are, are done. All right, so what we're doing today is basically a candle making day. I got a bunch of boxes set aside. I gotta go through and find out which oils I've got a lot of, and then I'm gonna go ahead and restock the site with ones that I do have a lot of stock on. And then a lot of these little ones are just gonna go into melts. So I'm gonna do a bunch of different candles and then I'm gonna do a bunch of different melts today. Uh, so for this process, I usually go through, uh, pretty much everything on my website is sold out right now and I'm trying to get it back up. So just going through, I'm gonna write down every single scent that I've got right here and find out which ones I need to put on there because not all these are gonna go back on there. And one of the other things I'm doing right here is figuring out which ones I've got for spring and summer scents. And then I picked a few that are kind of year round, uh, stuff that usually goes more towards winter scents. I've got a few of those in here just because they sell pretty good all year long. So I just go through. So what I usually do with this one is just go through, I'll type out all the ones that I know I'm gonna put on the site. Uh, like Nag Champa is one that's gonna go back on there. That one is always a solid seller. The Nag Champa from Candle Science. Uh, I've got the Pink Sugar from Nature's Garden, which is another really good seller. And then the uh, Cloudberry and Balsam from Wooden Whitco is a really good seller. So that one definitely needs to go back on. Also the Flower and Cove and Sandalwood from Wooden Wick is a really nice one. That one does extremely well. And then of course, once I get those done, I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna start setting out a bunch of these jars so that I can wick these. And these will be the first set that I go through and do, just update the basic nine ounce straight jar. I'm gonna go ahead and wick these, set these aside. And then while the wicks are drying from the red RTV that I put on the bottom of them, I'll go ahead and set these aside. And then I'll get into uh, the eight ounce jelly jar, which I've got to update also. 
And then going into these nine ounce straight jars, I'm just using the HTP 104. And this is the old version of the HTP 104, not the current one. I do have the current ones coming, but they haven't shown up yet. And I will have the new versions of the HTPs on my website too. So I will be selling those very soon. And the one thing I messed up before I flipped these is I should have gone through and put the warning stickers on the bottom of these and then flip them over, but I'll do that after. And I'm using red RTV on this one. These, this glue, it's a gasket adhesive and it will hold wicks better than anything you can imagine. I switched to this over hot glue or the wick stickers in a heartbeat once I saw it work. And I usually try to do as many jars as possible all at once just to get them done, set them aside so that when I do make candles, they're just ready to go and I don't have to do anything but pour. And if you're new to the channel, this is just a pen casing that I'm using. That I, this is just a pen casing that I'm using to put around the wick and hold it so that I can guide it down into the jar without trying to get my gigantic fingers down inside that small jar. So that one is done. Go ahead and set that one aside. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that one aside so I can finish this box. And then I'll move on to the jelly jars. Now for the jelly jar, I'm gonna go ahead and do these the right way. They're flipped upside down right now. So I'm gonna go through and put all the warning labels on the bottom of these. And we'll go ahead and flip these. And then in these, I'm gonna be using the HTP 93. And again, this is the old HTP 93, not the new ones. And again with these, just run the pen casing over the top of the wick, grab those, and then center them. All right, so that's pretty much it with these. I'm gonna go ahead and let these sit for an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting some wax in the Presto pot and we'll let that melt down. All right, so I got these first six laid out. I'm gonna be using mahogany shea on this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill the pouring pitcher for these guys right to about 42 ounces. And I've got 2.2 ounces of oil going into 32, or I'm sorry, 42 ounces of wax. And I actually miscalculated on this 
oil just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more. I did 2.2 based on 32 ounces and I'm doing 42 ounces. So I need to add a little bit more oil. So for this one, I'm actually gonna add right about another full ounce since there was another 10 ounces of wax that I was thinking of the jelly jars, but I'm pouring in the straights. I usually fill all these right to about the first thread and then I'll go back through and top each one of them off. And then with this wax, it will shrink a little bit. I'm pouring it past the first thread just a little bit. But since it's got so much paraffin in it, it will shrink down a little bit and it'll even itself out. So there we go with those first six. And then we'll go ahead and clean the pot out and then line up our next six jars. And then I usually keep the oil at the end of this so that I know exactly which one it is. Uh, unless I label them first, I do it this way. Then while these are cooling, I'll go inside and make the labels. And then once they actually harden up, I'll put the labels on all of them. <clears throat> So this will be the last set out of one full Presto pot. The other one is melting down. So it's not too bad. 24 of the nine ounce straight jars out of one Presto pot. It's kind of nice having these stickers in that melting pitcher. I just fill it to the 42 ounce mark and those stickers are in the pitcher every single time and it comes out perfect on the candles. And then I usually try to wipe down the tools and equipment, at least wipe the excess wax off, and then I'll take them to a sink once they're completely wiped out. And then with hot soapy water, I'll rinse the last of the scent out of it. But you wanna make sure that there is no wax residue in these things so you don't send it down your sink. And as long as you wipe these out when they're nice and hot, you'll get all of the wax out and then wipe the fragrance out of that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down, let these harden up, and then we'll start pouring the jelly jars. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I still have a lot of candles to cool down, trim the wicks, uh, go ahead and smooth the tops and everything like that. But that's pretty much the basics of doing a larger batch like that. Now, I probably could have been a little bit more efficient. I know I could have been a little bit more efficient. I did it on the small table because it's right here in front of me. This is the one I shoot on for the videos. Uh, the one that's behind me is a little bit longer. So I normally use that one, lay out all the candles across that one, and I can actually pour quite a bit more at one time. But again, that's pretty much it. So if you do have any questions about the process, where I get any of the products 
products that I'm using. I will include links in the video description down below, along with the oils, the jars, the wick holders. I have links to all that stuff in the video description down below and the people that make and sell those. And if you do wanna see the picture stickers that I use, I actually have those on my website at stanleyhandcrafted.com, along with the eBooks that go into great detail on how to make candles with a bunch of different waxes. And definitely don't forget that the first candle making class is coming up this next Saturday, May 8th. I do have a midweek one, May 26th, and I have the next one, June 5th. Uh, that's Saturday the 8th, Wednesday the 26th, and Saturday, June 5th. So if you wanna jump into that, it's a four hour Zoom session where we go through, we talk about everything from calculating your costs, basically the basics all the way up into launching your website, getting into stores, figuring out wholesale, private label, barcodes, anything like that, getting to farmer's markets, getting into stores. So if you're struggling in the beginning processes, this is a great class to sign up for. It is hosted by myself, and there are only 25 seats per class so that we can kind of keep it somewhat close knit and uh, have a good group discussion basically on everything that you want to discuss. And of course, if you're already in the class, the first one is already about halfway full, so I'm gonna be sending out the supplements to that one. It's gonna be the PDFs that we'll follow along with. And there will also be a couple other PDFs in there that will help you outside of the class and go into further detail on the things that we do discuss in the class. But like I said, that first one is a week away, so definitely jump in there, sign up quick. And of course, you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've listed in the video description down below. So Instagram, Facebook, my website, TikTok, and the phone number if you wanna sign up for any of the alerts that go out. That number is 253-303-7968. And if you like the video, Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for watching.